Hey YouTube, this is Drew Adam Tech here to show you how to do manual partitioning. So now in case you're unfamiliar, partitioning means separating your drive space into different volumes or virtual drives. So then they behave like their own drive, which is perfect for dual booting. I actually made a whole playlist on how to configure a dual boot. I'll link it up in the card. But anyway, in this video, I'm actually gonna show you in depth how to do manual partitioning. I'm gonna show you like how to set up drive partitions. I'm gonna go over known disks, gparted, the partitioner in Ubuntu's installer, and also disk management in Windows. But without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, so now the first application I want to showcase here is Gnome Disks. So now I got a flash drive here with one big partition, just to show you how you'd go about doing manual partitioning with Gnome Disks. So let's say I want to split this one big partition into two partitions of equal size. So I'm going to go to this gear icon, click resize, and then the original size is 40, 25 megabytes. I'm going to make this 20, 25 megabytes. That's about half. And then click resize. There we go, now I have this two gigabyte partition and this free space, which is basically space that can't be used yet because we haven't allocated any partition to it. So to do that, you just go to the free space partition, make sure that the free space partition is highlighted, and then click the plus button. And then you can just create a partition of however size you want. Let's just do what it gives us just to fill up the rest of that drive. And then you just create a volume name, say backup. And then you can choose what file system to format this with. Let's say you want to use use ext4 and then it'll make it compatible with Linux systems only. If this is your backup partition, that's the perfect one for it. And you can also password protect it to encrypt it and then choose a password there. But if you want this being compatible with Windows, you can choose NTFS or ideally for flash drives that need to be compatible with all systems, you can just do FAT, which makes it compatible with all systems. And then once you've selected your file system, I just want to use like ext4, and for the purposes of this video, I'm not password protecting it. You can just make sure that it's highlighted and the name is correct, and then click create. Then there we go. Once your partition is created, you should see something like this. I have my fat partition, which is compatible with all systems, and that's to plug into any system. And that's for my backup. That's just for use on my computer. Now let's say you want to format a partition with a different file system. You could just go to this gear icon, but then rather than clicking resize, you're gonna click format partition. And then we're gonna do this for use with Windows, and I'm gonna call this flash drive. I'm gonna click next, and then format. Okay, and now I have these two two gigabyte partitions, one formatted with NTFS and one formatted with ext4. Oh, and by the way, these will show up as separate drives on your system, so they're treated like separate drives. And then you can mount these individually. But say I change my mind, I don't want this second partition anymore. You can just make sure that that partition is highlighted, and then click delete, and then confirm what partition you want to delete, then click delete. Now this will delete everything on the partition along with the partition, so make sure that there's nothing that you need on it, because if there is and you delete it, you're gonna be in trouble. But anyway, I am assuming you would not want this free space here. So then, same principle, you just make sure that your partition is highlighted. And then you're going to go to this gear icon, click resize, and then you can just drag this all the way to the right to make it fill the capacity of the drive, and then click resize. All right, the second application I want to showcase here is gparted. So now this is way more advanced than GNOME disks. Like, it's for those circumstances when you need to partition your internal drive normally from a Linux live installer, which I am in right now. Or if you just need something more advanced than GNOME disks or whatever partitioner your OS comes with. But anyway, let's say I want to allocate half my drive space to Ubuntu and half to Windows. I can just go up to my Windows partition here, click this little arrow to resize it. Now the original size was 61,000 megabytes, about that. So I'm going to do about 31,000 megabytes. That's about half. Then you will need to hit enter and then click resize slash move. And now I have this unallocated space that's about 30 Gibby bytes in size. Then I'm gonna make sure that that's highlighted and then click this plus button. And then you can choose from a lot of file systems here to format this with. But I mean, ext4 is what I want and the rest is all fine. So then I'm just gonna go ahead and click add. And now one feature of this partitioner is that it won't actually apply what you did until you click this little check mark to tell it that you want to apply it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and click apply. And then this will start doing its job. All right, and now that all the operations are successfully completed, 
I'm going to click close, and then there you go. There's my newly partitioned drive for Windows and Ubuntu. Now, let's say I don't want Ubuntu anymore. I can just make sure that my Ubuntu partition is highlighted, and then click this little no icon to delete it, and then I have this unallocated space. So then I highlight my Windows partition, click resize slash move, and then make it fill up the rest of the drive that's unallocated, then click resize slash move, and then to apply it, I click this little check mark, and then click apply. And then once it says all operations successfully completed, I'm gonna click close, and then there we go, back to the way it was. And of course you can also use this to format partitions as well. So let's say I wanna reformat my Windows partition. I'm gonna right click on my Windows partition, and then click format to whatever file system I want. And of course you'll quickly notice that this gives you a lot more options than GNOME disks. And since I'm here in the Ubuntu installer ISO, I'm also gonna showcase the partitioner in Ubuntu's installer. To get to that, you're basically gonna go through this installation. And then once you're at installation type, you can just select something else, then click continue. And then it'll give you this more advanced partitioner than the guided partitioner. Then I just go and select my Windows partition and then click change. Let's say I wanna cut this in about half, not exactly, but about half. Then click OK, then click Continue. All right, now that I have this 30 gig free space, I'm gonna select it, click the plus button, and then just leave this as is. It'll fill up all the free space on the drive, then click OK. All right, and then once I get this, where I have my Ubuntu partitions format box checked off and nothing else's format box checked off, then I can click Install Now, and then the installer would go ahead and install Ubuntu on this partition. Now, I don't actually wanna install Ubuntu on a dual boot with Windows, so I'm gonna go ahead and click Revert, and then that basically just undoes everything I just did, except I have to Resize this so that way it fills up the drive again. There we go. And I can't wrap this video up without talking about the Windows Partitioner. To get to it, we're gonna right click on the Start button, then go to Disk Management, and then it'll bring up a screen like this. This is the Windows Partitioner. So let's say I wanna make space for another operating system, such as Linux, while I'm in Windows. I'm gonna go right click on my C drive, then click Shrink Volume. All right, then it'll bring up this window where it shows me how big the partition is and how much I can shrink this partition. Okay, and then let's say I wanna shrink this down by about 20 maybe bytes. I'm gonna put that in, not exactly, but about, and then I'm gonna click shrink. And now I have this unallocated space that's about 20 gibby bytes. So I'm gonna right click on it, then click new simple volume, and then it'll bring up this window. I'm gonna click next, and then this will fill up the rest of the drive. Then click next. Yeah, we can assign that drive letter. Then click next. And now, I'd actually argue this is the least advanced of all the partitioners that I've talked about because it only gives me FAT32 or NTFS. Let's just format this with FAT32, and then rather than call this new volume, I'm just gonna call this just volume. Then click Next, Finish. And then let's say for whatever reason I don't want this volume anymore, I can right click on it, then click Delete Volume, then hit Yes, and then it'll go back to unallocated space. I'm gonna right click on my C drive, then click Extend Volume, then click next, next, finish. And then this will fill up the rest of the drive space. And then there we go. And that is how you do manual partitioning. So thanks for watching. If you liked this video, found it was helpful, hit the like button, share this video with your friends, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment.